Hello, I'm the Beauty Professor, and you can find my beauty blog at www.beautyprofessor.net. We are experiencing unseasonably warm weather in Southern California right now, and so I'm trying something different with this video. I decided to try to film outdoors, and I'm just using my camera in a handheld way, so I'll keep it as still as possible, and hope you enjoy the change of scenery. Today I'm excited to do a quick review of the By Terry Cellular Rose Blush Glacé, which was a new release for spring 2013. The By Terry Cellular Rose Blush Glacé comes in three shades. And while each of the shades is quite bright looking at first glance, because of the sheerness of the formula, I'm confident that most skin tones can get away with wearing any one of these three shades. First up is Rose Melba, and this shade is number one. And it is easily the lightest of the three shade offerings. It's also the shade that I was looking forward to procuring for myself looks like this. I tend to pursue the lightest blush offerings in any given formula because my skin tone tends to make everything a lot darker and brighter. I have to be very, very conservative when I apply blush in general. And so Rose Melba seemed like the best bet for me. Here it is, just swatched on my finger, but I'll also of course include a copious amount of photographs of the swatches in various lighting situations. From a formula perspective, the Cellular Rose Blush Glacé is extremely unique. It's peerless when you contrast it with other blush formulas because of a couple of things. One, it is very sheer, yet pigmented. Two, it does not contain any obvious shimmer. And three, despite the fact that shimmer is lacking, it does create a lit from within look that is just beautiful on the face. So I am really impressed with the formula. It's very gel-like in nature, it's hydrating, and it has that distinct, gorgeous, by Terry rose now, scent. I'm typically sensitive to fragrances, but I find that with the by Terry line, thankfully, that the rose scent is not off-putting for me, and I have never had a single allergic reaction with this particular scent that's indigenous to the by Terry line. Next is shade number two, which is Flower Sorbet. And this, at first glance, is very easily what one might deem to be an orange shade. Definitely a pop of coral going on here. Swatched on the fingertip, you can see that it possesses this beautiful orange sheen, but when buffed into the skin, it transforms into a lovely peach tone. It's somewhere between peach and coral in nature, and it is a step up in terms of depth from the Rose Melba. So here is a close-up of Flower Sorbet. You can see, it's just so lush looking. These not only perform so well as blushes, but they're just aesthetically, visually stunning just to look at. And so those of us who our makeup devotees appreciate the beauty that can come from just looking at a cosmetics product to say nothing of actually applying it and these perform beautifully. Finally, we have number three, which is Frozen Petal. And this is by far the brightest, deepest shade offering. It looks like a almost hot pink meets magenta, a punch shade, if you will. And despite the fact that it looks so dramatic in the pot, when blended into the cheeks, it just looks like a fresh, rosy, flushed look that's not over the top, especially if it's applied with a light hand. For example, I am wearing Frozen Petal on my cheeks right now, and if you had asked me prior to experimenting with these three shades if this is the color I would wear, I would have given you an emphatic no because it would feel like it would be too dark and too bright for my particular skin tone and the, the colors that I tend to embrace. However, when tapped lightly onto the cheeks, it just becomes one with the skin and gives a lovely rosy look that is not too extreme. In fact, it's absolutely flattering. So I am really impressed with Frozen Petal, especially since I initially thought that this might not be a shade that I could get away with wearing. All in all, I could not be more pleased with the By Terry Cellular Rose Blush Glacés. 
They are definitely a luxurious splurge for beauty lovers. And due to the sheerness of the formula, the buildability of the pigmentation, and the luminous yet non-shimmery finish of the wear. I do think that there is likely a color for everyone. Concentrated a little bit goes a long way and I envision having a single jar of this last me a great deal of time especially because it works beautifully in conjunction other face products like bronzer or contour or even another blush. It can be tapped onto the face hands a dewy finish but because it is not shimmery in and of itself it, can, it also looks very natural. Here's just a touch of the Rose Melba, shade number one, and I'm just going to show you how I like to apply it. I do use my fingertips, and so I just take this, and I'm gonna just tap it into my skin, and it literally just disappears. It's not thick, it's not sticky, and it does set. It does not dry to a powder finish. Rather, it just dries to a very comfortable skin finish, and that's what makes these particular blushes so unique and lovely. In terms of lasting power on the skin, I find that I get a good six to eight hours of wear without any kind of degrading on the skin. It doesn't get oily or patchy or streaked or stained looking over time. It just works beautifully with the natural oils in your skin that might produce over time. And for that reason, I would definitely embrace this for a long work day without fearing that it was going to morph into something unpleasant. It does have significant lasting stamina and I am really impressed by that because that's not always the case with a cream or a gel product. Overall, I am completely over the moon for these blushes. They are exactly what I hoped they would be when I heard months ago that they would be debuting in the spring and I highly recommend them for those who are looking for a natural pop of color on the cheeks. If you appreciate kind of that just pinched look and you love the By Terry line, then truly this is likely a non-negotiable for you. I really see utility in wearing all three and I didn't initially think that would be the case, but one is great for a very subtle, clean look. Shade two, obviously because of its intense coral undertones makes great sense for moments where you want a peach or a coral cheek. And then finally, the third one, the frozen petal, as I mentioned before, is really natural looking, more than one might expect when you look at that bright punch color in the pot, but it does look like you've just like worked freshly worked out, which is never the case for me, but it's nice to be able to uh, fake that look or maybe like you've just taken a run. It just really brings life to the face and I think that all three serve a great utility for beauty lovers who are looking, looking to expand their blush collection. I truly hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I welcome your questions and your comments. I'd love to hear what you have tried from the By Terry Spring 2014 line. I know for me, next up in terms of reviews will be the Lumi Serum from By Terry. And I have that in three shades and I can't wait to give you a close-up look at those particular serums and how I like to use them, integrate them into my daily routine and even integrate them into foundation formulas I'm loving. So that will be coming up in the very near future. In the meanwhile, please don't forget to visit me at my beauty blog, Beauty Professor, which can be found at www.beautyprofessor.net. Take care.